Hi there, it's Tal from PureSkills.com and I would like to talk to you about one of my favorite features of Photoshop CC, the Camera Raw Filter. And why is it my favorite? Because it contains almost everything you need for processing an image, whether it's a single one or whether it's a layer on a composition you're working on it now. In order to take full advantage of the Camera Raw Filter features, First, convert your layer to a smart object. Go to the Layers panel, right-click, and convert to smart object. This will allow you to come back and re-edit what you did without doing any harm to your image, totally non-destructive. Once you've converted to a smart object, go to Filter, Camera, Raw Filter. There you go. Almost all Camera Raw features are here, except the basic fact that it isn't a raw file. Well, you can go to the lens correction, use the automatic feature, and quickly align your image. Then, everything you need for image processing, from basic exposure, contrast, highlight, shadow control, clarity, color, saturation controls, curves, details, Everything in Adobe Camera Raw is at the tip of your fingers. Now let's say I want to boost the shadows a bit, add some clarity, add some vibrance, change the tones, split the tones, make the shadows a bit cooler. We'll make the shadows a bit cooler and the highlights a bit warmer. Then add some sharpness. And detail. And mask out some of the soft areas. We don't want them to be sharpened. Let's increase the sharpening. And click OK. All we did is now stored in this camera raw filter. You can see the before and after with just one click before and after and if you want to edit what you did you simply double click the camera raw filter and change whatever you want let's say you want to add some light to the image click OK and only this was changed the benefit of using camera raw filter is that you get all your processing in one place you don't need to add multiple layers you don't need to deal with complicated layers lists you just have one stop shop now let's go back to the camera raw filter the two features you're gonna miss here are the camera profiles because this is not a raw image so you don't have camera profiles and you don't have the crop tool besides that everything is here of course you don't need the crop tool because you're in Photoshop so you take Photoshop's crop tool and crop the image as you wish and this is the final image again one-stop shop doing all the processing you need so this is Camera Raw Filter in Photoshop CC. Hope you find this information useful for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.